Why is dating so easy in some countries, but so difficult in others? This is a question that I've been thinking about for years, and the more countries I go and the more girls I meet, the more cultures I've experienced, the more it kind of bugs me. Like, why is it so much different to meet a girl in Canada than it is to meet a girl in Thailand? Why is it so different to meet a girl in New York compared to a small town in California? What is actually influencing the dating scene? Like what factors make it harder, easy or better or worse? I first started thinking about this question when I tried dating in Japan for the very first time and found out how much of an effect the train schedule and the work schedule of the people there had on the dating culture. When you're trying to date a girl who works six days a week, her one day off is precious and you're usually competing for her attention with a bunch of other people. If a girl only has one day off uh, and you want to meet up with her, well, she can only meet you on that one day and she's going to have friends and she's going to have family who are all going to want to have dibs on that one day. So it's a lot harder to get a girl to meet up with you when she has such a work schedule. Another influence was the trains. Well, 90% of the people in Japan use the train as their main uh, transportation method. And the trains end at midnight and they don't start up till 5 a.m. Now, that was influencing my ability to get a date because many of the girls, not only did they work six days a week, they actually worked long hours. And so once they get off work, they didn't even have enough time really to do anything other than just go straight to the train station and go home because if they miss it then they're out in the streets till 5 a.m and getting a taxi there is super expensive there's a lot of things about japan that simply made it almost impossible to have a regular girlfriend in fact uh the girl that i dated mostly when i was in osaka was ari and i know some of you might know ari from my youtube channel but Dating her was actually really challenging because she only had one day off. And of course I could say, you know, look, baby, come, come to my place after work and you can just go in the morning. And that was a challenge too, because if she spends the night with me, she has to explain to her family where she is and why she's spending the night there. And if she reveals that she's spending the night with a guy, then th she's going to get shamed. And there's a big shame culture there, right? There's, I mean, there's so many things about Japan that make you an incel, right? The girls can't meet you only one day a week. Uh, the schedules are super long and crazy. The, the, the train, I mean, there's so many things that influenced it. Now, I kind of figured out a way to get past all this, but it really made me realize, wow, like there's actually certain things about a country that can directly influence dating. And so the more countries I visited, the more I started to notice what things are good for dating and what things are bad. Now, there's a lot of things that go into what makes a country easy to date in and what makes a country hard to date in. And I'm not even going to pretend to answer that question fully. Uh, but I want to fully acknowledge that there's a long list of things that I know for a fact do influence the dating culture. For example, transportation system, the housing situation, the economic status of the country, uh, beauty standards, uh, racism, politics. There's so many things that I could go into that influence a country's dating culture. But let's zoom in to two places. So let's compare Thailand to the United States of America. Why is it so much easier to date in Thailand than it is to date in the US? What factors are actually influencing the dating culture, why is it different? I mean, if girls are girls and boys are boys, what is the actual explanation? I wanna highlight that when I say easier, I do mean for everybody. I've met a lot of different guys. I've been Indian guys, short guys, Asian guys, uh, older guys, and everybody reports back the same thing, that dating in Thailand is just easier. It's just better. It feels more normal. So let's just jump right into it. What makes dating in Thailand so much easier than dating in the United States? It's useful to think of dating like a sexual marketplace. There's a demand for sex and there's a supply for sex. Supply and demand, there's the price of goods. This kind of language can be applied to the dating world and pretty effectively. Men are almost universally attracted to pretty girls with a young looking body, a normal to fit size body. That's what they're attracted to. So 
in the United States, half the women are fat. And from a sexual marketplace perspective, what that means is there's a demand and the supply is artificially smaller than it should be because, I mean, look, let's be honest. Most guys don't like fat girls, okay? So you have a demand and half the supply is rotten apples, okay? What does that do for the apples that are not rotten? What does that do for the girls who have a normal size body type? Well, their value gets shot up probably by double. So the effect is women in the United States all feel more attractive than they actually are because their competition is like reduced due to the obesity issue. This fact has a lot of consequences to the dating culture in the United States because the women who are not fat have so many more options and the competition for them is higher. They tend to put less work into their personality. They tend to be more entitled. They tend to be snobby, rude. Now you give hey, the only what are you celebrating? Another thing that does influence the dating culture is this push to reverse the gender roles. So this idea of, you know, women being glorified if they do traditionally masculine things like, you know, be a CEO, be the president. Um, you can be a superhero where you kick ass and ride a motorcycle and, you know, hey, look, just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't do this. There's a big glorification of women doing traditionally masculine things. And there's also a big shame factor around women doing traditionally feminine things, right? So for example, in Thailand, it's really common that a girl wants to show off that she's a good, a good girl by uh, cooking me dinner or cleaning the room, right? Um, in some cases, I've had girls clip my toenails, right? Now, if I describe this to a girl in the United States, she will roll her eyes and you know, accuse this girl of being stupid. Like, wait, what? So you made him dinner, cleaned his room and clipped his toenails. Oh my God, that's fucking disgusting. That's so demeaning to women, right? In their head, this is like somehow demeaning, but to a normal female who is living in the traditional gender role universe, this is her showing off that she's a good wife, right? And this does have an effect on the dating culture because women are comfortable being regular women. They're comfortable expressing their natural feminine gender role identity in Thailand, where it is in the United States, women are basically trying to show off how much of a guy they are. And the culture celebrates that and that does have an effect. Now let's talk about Thailand. Well, in Thailand, there is no fat girls. The issue of obesity is really almost non-existent. You can find them, but it's really rare. And the consequence of that is when a girl has a really perfect, nice, feminine, petite body, she doesn't even think it's attractive. She just thinks it's normal. I'm getting fat. Yeah, you're really fat. Oh my God, you're disgusting. Ugh. Me disgusting. Hold on, let me see. Bing, 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 bing. So uh, as a girl, from a girl's perspective, a good body is not very much of a selling point because, well, every other girl has a good body. So a girl has to do something extra to stand out in the sexual marketplace. So when you're coming from the US, dating as a man has a certain level of difficulty due to the supply and demand of the sexual marketplace. And then you go to Thailand and all of a sudden the supply is double. Your options are double because you don't have an issue of obesity right? So automatically as a man, your options have doubled. And when your options have doubled, obviously your ability to meet a girl has doubled in a way, right? Uh, the consequences on the other side are women know that their body is not enough anymore to attract a man. So the whole like being rude, being entitled, being kind of bitchy, uh, that attitude kind of goes away because 
if a girl acts that way, she knows that she's competing with other girls now, right? The competition actually exists. So personality pressures start to happen. You have pers before you didn't have any personality pressures because the girl was a, you know, a hot commodity and the supply was low and the demand was exactly the same as it was before. Like the, the demand wasn't adjusted. So personality all of a sudden is something a woman has to think about. Another big factor is beauty standards in Thailand are all about having white skin. Having white skin is actually really hard to find. Uh, most Thai girls are not white skin, they're brown. They're, they're dark brown or they're brown. And so internally, a lot of women's value is skewed because they have beauty standards that are almost impossible to achieve. Uh, they wanna have white skin. And so a girl who's dark skinned, who has a nice body and is actually pretty, because her skin tone is in that kind of social class of like low class unattractive, she has to work even harder on her personality and her perception of value is lower. So for, when you're coming from the West, if you're a uh, someone who doesn't come from a country with this beauty standard, you're gonna be blown away because your ability to meet girls that in your head are really pretty, it just goes out of control. There's so many other things that I could talk about in this video. So for example, car ownership. In the US, almost everyone owns a car because our infrastructure requires it. Uh, our cities are kind of designed around car ownership. Whereas in Thailand, everyone's using the train. No one owns a car, it's not a very common thing. And therefore, uh, owning a car as a man, like obviously that would probably be attractive, but it's just not a factor that is required. Whereas in the US, you know, girls ask questions like, oh, well, what does he drive? Because in the US, our identity and our status and our financial, like, you know, public image is connected with our housing and our and our car. So there's so many other things that are kind of, essentially the, the sexual marketplace is, is contaminated by less things that don't matter, right? So, I mean, like if, if a woman is trying to date somebody, technically speaking, what the guy drives doesn't actually have any hard relationship to whether that guy is a good guy or not, right? But in Thailand, it's not even a thing. Like you, a girl doesn't ask, oh, what does he drive? Well, he doesn't drive anything. No one drives anything. So the number of things that you can use to impress a girl are shorter and it's more human. It's like, is he funny? Does he have a good heart? Um, does he take care? Is he, you know, romantic or whatever, like normal stuff. And this goes right into the whole gender roles thing. In Thailand, gender roles are kind of traditional. Uh, women are not shamed for being women and men are not shamed for being men. If a woman, you know, is in a group and she tells everybody, yeah, like I met this guy, we went on a couple dates, I cooked him dinner and I cleaned his room and I clipped his toenails. Like she's not going to get shamed by society as being some dumb girl who's, you know, being a traditional woman. She's going to be like, oh, that's great. Like you're showing off that you are a good wife. Okay. Whereas in the States, that would be considered condescending. Like you did that for him. Oh my God, I would never, that's so like, there's so many factors that go into this. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video because honestly, I could talk about it forever. Um, we've only scratched the surface. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about. And the whole idea of dating culture is interesting to me. I think there's a lot of factors and a lot of comparisons. Again, this is only Thailand versus the US. Um, a lot of the things I said could be applied to other places, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to check out the vault. It's a hundred plus bonus clips, a bunch of stuff I can't put on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching and what do you guys think?